operations. The test will be started manually by pressing the relevant start button on the remote infrared control or by activating BISPART's super automatic operating system. The latter will run a complete test sequence without any interference on the part of the test engineer. In order to measure the vehicle's tracking stability, the vehicle will be driven over the side slip tester. The toe in or toe out thus established will be indicated on the display and at the PC station and will be allocated to the relevant axle while being saved. As soon as the saving is completed, the next measuring step will be indicated. In order to check the suspension damping, the vehicle will be positioned on the vibrating plate with the help of the yellow access markers. The road grip, as well as the resonance frequency of the wheel suspension of the left and right hand wheels, will be measured one after another. The vehicle will now be moved onto the roller set until it comes to rest on the test rollers. When the test rollers start moving, the engine must run idle. In the case of vehicles with an automatic gearbox, select neutral for the gear lever. A special function of the SL680 test lane. A four-wheel drive will automatically be recognized and measured in counter-rotating direction. Following that, the entire procedure will be repeated for the rear axle and the parking brake. It is irrelevant for the SL680 test lane whether the parking brake acts onto the front or rear axle. The braking force will be measured and established with the help of a high-precision strain gauge sensor. The data will be transmitted in real time to the analog display and the PC station. The braking force acting on the right and left hand wheels as well as optionally the pedal force will be measured. The process unit will evaluate the difference in the braking force between the left and right hand wheel sides. If an axle weight has been entered before the measuring process, the static brake efficiency will be calculated and displayed. If a weighing system is integrated, this work step will be dropped and the dynamic brake efficiency will also be displayed in real time. The braking test will be completed when the slip control unit reaches the limit. The super automatic operation includes the automatic filing and print function. Available as optional and special accessory for the SL680 test lane, the new pneumatic lift from Bispart, which makes it possible to drive over the roller set during normal workshop operations without causing any problems. If the brakes are to be tested, the lift will automatically lower the vehicle in a gentle way. Once the brake test has been completed, the axle will be lifted again so that the vehicle can be moved off the roller set in a comfortable fashion. Pipelining Another extension of the B-Net strategy is upgrading the SL680 test lane into a test station where the exhaust gas test can be carried out and the headlights aligned. It all starts off with the inspection and all tests to be carried out will be recorded in the order manager. This may also be imported via the ASA gateway if the relevant order processing system exists. Thanks to the fact that the individual stations are networked, the inspection can be carried out in record time. As soon as a vehicle has passed any one of the stations, the next can already be tested thanks to the innovative BISPART technology. The test data thus gained will be collected on the data server and the entire data record can be printed out in the form of a protocol after the inspection has been completed. You may choose from more than 25 languages.